First at 10, President Biden is urging Congress to extend the eviction moratorium. But legal experts warn that if it is extended, there should be more of a plan in place on how to deal with landlord and tenant rights. Our Angela McCall live in the newsroom tonight after speaking with a Cooley Law Professor. Angeline? Yeah, Ryan Janice, U.S. Census data says approximately 1.2 million households are very likely to face eviction, with 6.5 million households behind in rent, which accumulates to more than $20 billion. As it stands right now, the eviction moratorium is set to end Saturday, but President Biden is asking for the moratorium to be extended as fears spread about new surges of COVID-19 and the Delta variant. But it's unclear if just a few days will be enough time to actually extend the date. 11 months ago, the CDC enacted the eviction moratorium amidst the pandemic. But now its future is unclear, with it set to expire on Saturday. This is a major issue for our country, which is why the moratorium has been extended several times. You know, Cooley recently. Law Professor Floris um, Neville CDC Ewell was. backs an extension, but says there needs to be a more robust plan on how to actually enact evictions and distribute resources with additional people lending hands. Let's get law students involved because they are the ones who are in a position to say, we'll go down to the local auditorium, we'll go knock on doors. I really think we could create an army here. The end of the moratorium will inevitably create an overwhelmed court system, not to mention leave both tenants and landlords empty handed as the $46 billion emergency rental assistance program has been slow, with only a fraction of the money being dispersed. It seems to me we need to make sure the money gets out. We need the moratorium, but we need a plan. Because if we continue to do it the way we're doing it, we'll have to continue to roll over the moratorium, which is just not good in the long run. We ultimately need to sure up all of these things and have tenants talking to landlords, entering into agreements, getting the extra funding. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki affirmed the administration's promise to those struggling. We will continue it, an all of government effort to keep Americans safe and house through the swift uh, dispersal of emergency rental assistance to states and cities. The deadline approaching, making it more important than ever to find resources if you are struggling as either a tenant or a landlord. It's going to be a disaster at every level from the Delta variant issue to the court system being overrun to the funding not necessarily getting released because sadly, some people might not have access to the internet to complete the applications. So we just have a variety of issues, but often we can get people to a place to help them. We do want tenants to also know that they can call 211 in our area for, for help, or you can also reach out to the Salvation Army. We do have other resources available on our website, fox17online.com. In the newsroom, Angela McCall, Fox 17 News.